The term sea glass is used to refer to the small pieces of glass typically found on beaches, along bays, seas, oceans, and even the banks of large rivers. Sea glass is weathered both physically and chemically due to the constant tumbling action of waves over an extended period of time. The phrase sea glass is sometimes used interchangeably with beach glass, but the two are actually different, despite being superficially similar. Unlike sea glass, which comes from saline water of the seas, beach glass comes from freshwater sources and typically has a less frosted appearance, as well as a different pH balance than sea glass. Although sea glass can be found on beaches all over the world, the beaches of the Northeast United States, Northeast England, Mexico, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, Italy, and Australia are particularly well known for their treasure troves of sea glass. Naturally occurring sea glass begins its journey as discarded articles of glass, such as bottles, tableware, household items lost in natural disasters, and even shipwrecks. These pieces are tossed on the shore through various human activities. When a beer bottle is chucked into the ocean, that discarded piece of glass doesn't just disappear into the depths. It is tossed and turned, whacked and smashed and smacked, thrown and caught by the tides. They are weathered by sand, salt, and other elements of the seas, causing the sharp edges of the glass objects to disappear, giving way to a smooth, polished surface and a frosty appearance. Artificial sea glass, on the other hand, can be formed in a workshop, factory, or even a rock tumbler. This artificial variety is made from sheets of glass cut up and placed into an acid bath. People also make artificial sea glass from recycled glass bottles. Enthusiastic collectors will look for particularly old bottles to use as the raw material for artificial sea glass. Unlike natural sea glass, artificial sea glass can easily be found in almost every color. This is a surefire way to verify whether a piece of sea glass you're looking at is natural or artificially produced. If you're one of those people who spend hours on beaches looking for oceanic gems, you would know that pieces of genuine sea glass are becoming increasingly hard to find. The reason is quite obvious. Glass is no longer as commonly used as it was just a few decades ago. Back in the 1960s and 70s, many things were made of glass, and these things were often discarded and tossed into water bodies, either accidentally or on purpose. It wasn't a healthy practice from the perspective of the environment, but it did ensure that pieces of sea glass washed ashore, which they still do to this day. However, with the advent of plastic and its ever-growing popularity, glass products are simply not as common. Today, we're surrounded by far more plastic products than glass ones, so we are seeing a severe decline in the quantity of sea glass washing ashore for our new generation to find.